Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've got this loading screen right here and a lot of leaks to look at in today's video because Road to the Knockouts is the next promo coming to FC24. Nike Mad Ready is ending and the Road to the Knockouts promo is coming. There is a lot to talk about today, guys, because it looks like EA is dropping a banger promo with some of the leaks that we have. We're going to talk about all of that and, of course, the market because prices continue to drop just about everywhere in inside of this game as there is a lot of panic for what is upcoming this weekend and, of course, some changes that EA announced yesterday with the weekend league. I think that's impacting the market a little bit. So we're going to talk market in today's video as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with yesterday's content as we always do. SBCs, guys, I kind of laughed when I saw this SBC dropped in the section yesterday alone base hero player pick it's kind of like a tease because we're all wanting you know thinking of that first hero pack or pick SBC that's probably going to come out in the later part of, of October or maybe November but EA dropped an 83 rated squad requirement for a 24 game lone hero player pick yesterday which guys honestly I would not do this SBC it's almost a little bit laughable I mean cool yeah you can get a lone hero that you could use in friendlies and stuff but for an 83 squad just save that 83 squad for other SBCs that are going to be coming out this next week. You'll be glad you saved the fodder. This one for me is not worth it whatsoever. I really don't even know what else there is to say about that. It's a loan. I, uh, player pick. Like, it's just a loan, man. So, I don't know. That one for me is just kind of mid. We did have more objectives, though. The themed team pursuits. Guys, check your clubs. If you have any tradable silvers from either Serie A, Eredivisie, or Liga F, those are up in price as you can combine the silver with one of these three objectives and you can get yourself two done at the same time. So people went out and were buying some of those off the market so that they could multiply their, I guess, completion percentage and decrease the number of games that they're playing because that's a little bit of a hack to get that done in a few less games. So that was a bit of the content yesterday there. And then, of course, we had the brand spanking new team of the week. Number two, which I think, guys, this is an upgrade from Team of Week 1. Not saying Team of Week 1 was bad, but this Team of Week is nice. Kane and Son, the duo is back, obviously playing for different clubs now. Akante in form, Taliska is nice, Cancelo is nice. Saul with the featured Team League card even looks very usable as well. He's Hullet Gang, bar the pace, and can play left mid starter position. You've got a Matoma card that's going to be very interesting in here as well. And then a couple decent cards on the bench. I mean, Toribo is very usable as a French center back on a low budget that's a solid card and then mls fans will be happy with jonathan taylor for a messy link with 91 pace on the bench a solid team of the week right son kane conte plenty of usable cards in here big clubs good links so honestly we like that right we like that from ea we like the team of the week we like the boost that they gave out now also yesterday part of the big news that's impacting the market as well as it was kind of a, a quiet day content-wise, more so a news and leak day than it was yesterday, they tweeted out saying that October 6th is the actual start date for Foot Champs. We mentioned it in yesterday's video. The timer countdown in-game said that it was going to be this weekend. EA said, nah, that is not in that's not correct. Uh, and they said that it is actually going to be next weekend. The timer in-game now reflects that. I don't know at the beginning why it said that it was going to be this weekend. If they planned it to be next weekend entirely in the first place, they should have just had the counter be there. But it is what it is. And that did play a little bit of a factor on prices on the market, guys. And I want to talk about that in today's video. But we're going to get to the leaks and road to the knockout information first. So we're going to talk about market in a second. Hold on. There's a lot to talk about there. But first, we have to talk about this because yesterday we had a loading screen and a lot of leaks now guys ones to watch is not the next promo but we actually still might be getting ones to watch unlike how we thought it was going to go before we'll talk about that in a second but these are the four car designs that are a part of the rttk promo once again guys if you don't know about rttk this is one of the favorite live promos every year it follows the champions league women's champions league this year and then also europa and conference leagues with live cards that upgrade based off of team performance only you maybe remember these cards from last year's game right Messi started as a 92 got upgraded to a 94 because PSG got in a certain amount of wins 
and also advanced from their group. Same thing with the Bombing and Chelsea. He went from an 89 to a 91. That's how it's going to work this year as well. This is the Champions League design, Europa League, Conference League, and the Women's Champions League design. That's why there are four car designs on the front loading screen there. Now, let's take a look at the leaks because, guys, we started seeing some of these leaks yesterday. And this is also part of why the market is dropping because these leaks look nuts. EA is going all out for a first promo of the year. After the full release of the game, Victor Osiman will be a road to the knockouts card. Stats are a prediction. I feel like these stats are pretty close to what they actually could be, though, guys, because I'm pretty sure last year when they dropped these road to the knockout cards, it was a simple plus one upgrade over their base item. Like Messi dropped as a 92. His base cold gold card obviously was a 91 last year. So I would imagine this year that Osiman would be an 89 because his base gold is an 88. Dynamic image with the uh, stats being slightly boosted. That's a big card right and of course even though there's a bit of drama going on right now with Osiman and Napoli that card could be insane with a good UCL run and a couple of upgrades through the knockout stages only right these are going to be upgrades that happen during the knockout stages and before we get to the group stage or before we get to the actual knockout rounds that's where road to the final starts this is happening in the group stages sorry this is group stage upgrades knockout stage upgrades is road to the final but Osiman was the first leak Bruno Fernandes is the second leak. Again, big player here for Manchester United. Obviously going to sell some packs. 90 rated seems a bit steep for me. I'm not sure where the 90 rated is coming from here. It's probably going to be an 89 rated Bruno. I would imagine they would just give him a plus one. They could give him a plus two, but again, stats predicted. Regardless, that's a big card in packs, right? You've got Osiman and Bruno Fernandes to sell packs. That is massive. And a lot of United fans are going to be very excited for this card coming into the game. He's going to be pretty expensive. Even though United aren't playing that good at the moment, he's going to be very expensive for sure. Now, also, the official Champions League Twitter account, they always do this for the promos with they, with they coincide with Ultimate Team, uh, for usually for Road to the Knockouts and the Road to the Final promos. They end up tweeting out some cards. Yesterday, they tweeted out three official cards with official stats and dynamic images. For three cards that are going to be in packs, Openda, Bonucci, and Machada. I think EA said, here you go. You can tweet out like the least uh, hyped cards and maybe the fodder cards that are in the promo team. Bonucci looks usable, just a bit slow. Machado looks a little bit like fodder. Don't know if they're going to get out of the group. Don't know if he'll even get any upgrades. I think people are most excited for Openda with the pace. Leipzig having a solid year. Definitely could go on and get out of the knockouts. Um, or get into the knockouts from the group stages. So we're looking for upgrades for all these cards, right? 85 rated Openda. Of course, his base gold card is pretty low rated. Bonucci has a bit of a higher rating, so he's going up to an 88. But uh, nice upgrades there for those cards, and those are going to probably be the lower tier, like we mentioned. And they all pale in comparison to the massive leak that is headlining this promo, Erling Holland. What is the start of a brand new ultimate team without Holland's gold card going out of packs with a special Erling Holland card coming into packs? It just had to be there, right? Because Holland's on the cover of the game. He's getting a road to the knockouts card, guys. And this card is going to be so expensive because, again, these are live cards. And what does this mean? As Manchester City are, like, obviously one of the favorites to go far in the the Champions League this year, this Holland card, while it probably will be a 92 rated and will push him to that 90 pace threshold, unless EA really want to withhold a lot of the upgrades and make this card really annoy us, to be honest, it's going to be expensive, guys. A live Holland card with a dynamic image with slightly boosted stats, it's going to be pricey. And of course, as you would expect, Osiman, Bruno Fernandez, and Erling Holland are all going up in price on the market because, of course, gold cards this year do go out of packs when they have a special card in packs. We were curious about that to start the year, but it is confirmed now 100% that they do go out of packs. Holland is actually not up as much as he was. He's probably going to go back up again as we head through this weekend since he'll be out of packs. This is the exact same thing that happened last year. I don't know if you guys remember when Erling Holland went from like 100,000 coins in, um, we've looked at this graph multiple times now. You probably do remember. But Holland was super cheap, right? He was 200K. He goes out of packs for the ones to watch promo and goes all the way to 400,000 coins. Yes, the lengthy meta was a thing. But we're coming to the same sort of conclusion this year where Holland, yes, is already 400,000 coins, but a massive upgrade and, you know, just massive hype around his card anyway. Uh, yeah, he was 
500,000 coins, 550K on Tuesday before the market started crashing. Yesterday, he was 400K. He was right here before this announcement was released. He got, boom, back up to 470,000 coins. He's been between 430, 440, and 470 since then. I actually picked one up. I think I'm going to hold on to it because this card of Erling Holland could end up being 600K next week, maybe even and more. I mean, I'm going to say 600K, but this is going to be a card that out of packs and still having a lot of demand as a lot of coins are coming onto the market this weekend is definitely going to be rising up in price. So same thing for like Osaman uh, and even Bruno Hernandez a little bit as well. Osaman was, I think, like 50K in the panic selling yesterday. Yeah, he was 50,000 coins. The league came out. He went all the way up to 61. Guys, these cards are not terrible investments. I know that their prices have started to go back up a little bit. Osaman was 53K. If you see Osaman in the low 50s, he's probably going to be like 65, 70K next week. If you see Holland at like 420, I mean, that's a card that I would imagine would end up being, like I said, high 500, 600K, maybe even above that later on next week with less supply and still a lot of demand as a lot of coins are going to come on this game. I do think those cards are going to continue to rise up. Now, those are all the leaks that we have right now for these cards. Now, once again, we also have how they're going to upgrade. This was leaked by Sahil. A lot of guys, um, well, actually, it's leaked by Foot Scoreboard. He is just the one that is tweeting it. Uh, Foot Scoreboard leaked a lot of these cards like Holland. Um, and also Bruno Fernandez. No, Foot Sheriff leaked Bruno Fernandez, but Scoreboard leaked Osaman. So both the leakers are back. Foot Sheriff was quiet for a while. We were like, where's this guy at? And now he's back leaking Bruno Fernandez and other stuff. But Sahil leaked that these cards are going to be upgrading. Let me just break this down for you the same way as last year, guys. They get a plus one inform upgrade for winning the two remaining matches in the group stage. Now, this year, with this promo starting earlier, they actually have another match day inside of all the, the matches left in the group stage to get another win. So it's actually going to be easier for these teams this year to get two remaining matches to get two wins out of the remaining matches. So that's one inform upgrade. And then, of course, qualifying for the round of 16, a.k.a. the knockouts, they will get another inform upgrade. So ideal scenario is your team or the player from your team gets a plus two inform upgrade, which, of course, if we're looking at the case of these cards, like Machado, a plus two inform upgrade, one inform upgrade would take him to an 85 because 83 informs always go to 85, right? It's a plus two, even though that means like a plus one inform upgrade. And then he would go, I think 85s go to 86s after that. So in that case, if they were to win two games and move on, if Lens were to pull it off, he would go to an 86 rated card, not just an 85. But Openda and Manucci probably just getting actual plus twos in the top of their card. But again, just to remind you, it is a plus one inform inform upgrade so that is there for the Europa and Conference League it's the same thing the two wins but also it's just qualifying for the round of 32 since the Europa and Conference League have a little bit different structure a little bit more teams are introduced especially like third place from Champions League goes down to Europa um, if they qualify for the round of 32 they get a plus one inform upgrade as well it's basically the exact same as the way it worked last year so that is a big promo, right? And you see already the players that they're putting in, the Osaman, the Bruno, the Holland. That's partially why there was a lot of panic on the market yesterday as well. And guys, this is a promo that every single year people get excited for because it's live cards that upgrade. And of course, we're going to have Champions League games, Europa League games, Conference League games this next week to watch and follow along. It's going to be such a fun time with promo cards that are live and exciting and dynamic images the first real promo of the year as the full games open opens up to everybody uh it's going to be super duper exciting now one thing i want to look at as well is a lot of car designs were added to the code and i, I want to send i don't want to spend too much time looking through this because there's a lot of car designs guys and some of them i think are actually messed up but what in the world is that i think this is the record breaker car design but wow what a car design from EA. That looks sick. That might be the best record breaker design I think I've ever seen, if that actually is what that is. Um, but, like, there's so many car designs that have been added, guys. The ones to watch car design has been added to the code. Thought we weren't getting that promo. I don't know. Maybe ones to watch is going to be somehow intertwined with the next couple of weeks in this game. I don't understand. That's a surprise, but that has officially been added to the code by uh, tweeted out by foot scoreboard. And here's where I think where the issues are guys. This is a FIFA 23 
uh, car design. He's tweeting out new car design added squad building challenge. Guys, look at the car difference. This is the FC24 design, right? It's a lot flatter along the bottom. It just looks like the gold card. And then you look back here. This is the FIFA 23 design that we had in the game. Um, there's a couple other ones up here. Like uh, like even this UEFA Champions League card design, that is a FIFA 23 design. If you look at the bottom of the card, it is not the same shape as the card that we even see. Uh, wait, UEFA Champions League POTM. Uh, that has to be a mistype. That has to be man of the match. Uh, POTM, player of the month for the Champions League. Like what? So again, a couple of these designs that are in here, even the showdown design that you see, like that's last year's design. You can see the bottom of the card is a lot more slanted vertically. There's a lot more of an angle. And if you look at the FC24 design, it's a lot flatter, again, to fit in the stats on the card at the very bottom. So I think some of these card designs here are going to have to be updated. I think EA must have messed something up with the code. Um, yeah, this got to be man of the match, guys. POTM? Nah, man. There's no player of the months for, for those. Um, but yeah, these card designs, like, look, we have a UECL road to the knockouts and then a UECL team of the tournament. That's the design we had last year. This is the design we have this year. It looks very similar. Just the green, you know, image in the background is a little bit different. Um, so I think EA messed up a few things here with these. We do have the Ultimate Team Centurions design that's been added to the code. We knew about this from the pitch notes. That's a cool card design. Also, it shows Shapeshifter Icon. That's the Footies Premium design. That's last year FIFA 23. That's last year FIFA 23. And then also a Centurions Icon. So I guess this may be an insight to the first promo icons that we'll be getting of this year. Uh, whenever the Ultimate Team Centurions promo is, which I think is going to happen in the next couple of weeks, that card design has been added to the code. But I wanted to look through those because a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, Nate, did you see all the card designs that were added? Yes, I did, but I think a lot of them are not even relevant to what is about to drop on this game. So just look at the actual shape of the card. Uh, UEL Road of the Knockouts, like that's an FC24 card design. And so is this one, man. I cannot wait to see this one in the game because that design looks sick so all the car designs that were added basically were the ones on the loading screen right um and once again that does include the women's um champions league car design here so we've got women's cards for champions league only and then men's cards in the conference league europa league and the champions league itself so that is kind of all that we know about the upcoming promo and we'll probably get some more leaks today like obviously you're gonna have to have some players from other big clubs there's no psg player that has been you know posted right now there's no uh real madrid player that's been leaked i would have to imagine there's going to be players from some of those other massive clubs that would have a good shot at winning the competition and of course ea selling some packs with some big players in packs as a part of this promo as well so i would watch out for more leaks and news because that is probably going to happen now Let's talk about the market because, like we mentioned, this leaks the promo and a little bit of the weekend league move to the next weekend. And the news of that did cause some additional panic on the market. Rolfo started the day at 57,000 coins, the card everybody is watching right now in this game. And with all of that news, she went all the way down to 40. 4k now she did have a bit of a spike back to 53 then went back down to 47 and is now back up to around 50k but guys the market continued to crash yesterday and prices just about everywhere got really really low musiala 75,000 coins after he started the day at 88k guys musiala is down to the same price that he was in like the low low first weekend this market has really dropped off a lot there's been a lot of panic selling i think it's all because of this promo that is upcoming the road to the knockout type these insane cards that have been leaked a holland and osaman a bruno fernandez like who else is going to be in this promo team you know that's kind of the precedence that it is setting and it's live cards which is always hyped and i think people are just worried about all the people coming on to this game and this weekend as well with supply and then packs being opened and cards hitting the market. Are we going to see even more price drops today? Well, we've got rewards today, right? And rewards usually brings a positive spin to the market. And I think there's an opportunity for that today. But if I'm being completely honest, guys, I'm not investing a ton of coins and hoping for a market rise. If there would be any market rise today, I think that it might end up being offset uh, by you know some panic tomorrow on Friday as we actually head into 
the Road to the Knockouts promo and everybody getting on the game. So my gut feeling right now is, I know you're like, Nate, you literally have no coins. Where in the world are your coins, dude? My coins are on my transfer list. I'm flipping, like I said, I bought a Holland for 417K. I have it listed for Lazies. And I also bought an Aloe Wayron, which I'm trying to flip for a little bit of profit right now. And he did go up, but I played some games with him, so I missed the optimal time to sell. And right now I'm like, breaking even at, even after tax. I bought it at 599, he's 634. So I might try to get that quick flip out and I'm I don't know if I'm going to buy too much today. I could see with division rivals rewards getting paid out. A lot of people are going to take tradable rewards today, which if you're on a low coin budget is probably a good decision, probably a good thing to do. It's going to bring a little bit of supply in, and it also is going to mean there's coins put on the market. What did we see with squad battle rewards last weekend, right? We saw the market rise after a rewards period. That could happen a little bit today. I just think if we have a rewards rise, it's not going to be that massive of one. I think it's going to be short-lived because we have marquee matchups that will be coming later on today that would bring some more supply to the market. And of course, you have people getting on the game for the first time, opening FC point packs for the first time, bringing extra supply in. And uh, I think really this is a bit, I would argue that Road to the Knockouts is a bigger first weekend promo on Ultimate Team than ones to watches. That's just my opinion. Live cards officially branded with the Champions League logos and all that stuff on these cards, big names in the promo. This is more hype than a ones to watch promo in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. So I think there could be some more panic into Thursday night and into Friday. I just don't see everybody waking up today on Thursday and being like, yeah, man, I'm going to go buy cards for my team today at 100%. There might be a little bit of that, but I just don't feel like it's going to be a sizable enough rise that I want to invest a ton of coins into it. And so for right now, I think I'm going to play it safe. Now, the one thing I will mention is a lot of people were getting onto the game today for the first time. And remember just about mm, a week ago when a lot of people got onto the game for the first time via early access, and we had a lot of those players that were very popular for evolutions go up in price. Yes, I'm looking at guys like Darwin Nunez. I'm looking at Dan Juma. I'm looking at Ansu Fati. And um, these guys are the ones that I'm interested in watching today. I have bought a couple of Ansu Fati and a couple of Darwin Nunez, literally just like two or three of each, just because I think with new people getting on the game this weekend, there's going to be a bunch of demand for these evolution cards as a lot of people have hyped them up. They're not that hard to get done. And they're honestly not that expensive. You can go on open maybe... Um, I don't know, 20 bucks of FIFA points um, or just trade for a little bit and get 20,000 coins and you can start Darwin Nunez in Evolutions. And I think a lot of people are doing that. Um, so I think those cards could have potential to move today because at 8 a.m., uh, Eastern time, which I think is 1 p.m. UK time today. That is going to be like midnight Thursday night into Friday morning New Zealand time. So if anybody's moving to New Zealand and flying to New Zealand uh, to get on the standard edition of the game, um, or if they just live there already, they'll be able to get on the game today. And then it'll be once again, just like last Friday, a rolling clock of those being able to get on the standard edition of the game at midnight for each of their time zones. So we got more people coming onto the game today. That means the market could actually see some positive movements on low to mid tier meta cards, but I'm not putting a ton of coins into that just because at the very same time, we've got supply today through the marquee matchups that I'm more worried about than rivals, if I'm being completely honest. And it just feels like this market right now is in a place where it doesn't want to move that much. However, that is all going to change tomorrow on Friday after the content drop. People are even saving their rivals rewards today. That's another reason why I'm kind of thinking that tomorrow might be an even bigger day on the market than today. Because I believe that a lot of people are actually saving uh, their rewards to open them for the new promo that is coming out tomorrow, which isn't a terrible idea if, if you really think about it. But I'm just trying to point that out to you guys and mention that because um, that is a very real thing that's going to be happening on this game today. Now, we mentioned it a couple times already, but marquee matchups coming today. That's going to pr uh, provide tradable supply to the market as well. And last Thursday, when that was released, we actually saw marquee matchups drop prices a good amount. I would not be holding on to team of the week cards right now if you own any of those i would probably not be holding on to them because their prices will probably drop some today after the content drop and some of your middle to low tier cards could be dropping off as well with that supply so just be careful with that as well as we get into today i'm going to keep looking at the market and just in, in terms of quick flips guys that's what i'm liking right now yesterday uh one of my favorite players to trade with right now is guijaro uh the Barcelona women's team center mid 
she yesterday went from like 60,000 coins down to 45k went all the way back up to 55 and I sold six of them there that I bought at 44 to 45k and then she went back down to 45 now she's back up to about 50k if there is more panic selling at all during the day today this is a card that I like to look at and just continue to watch your top tier meta cards like in this panic selling that we have seen in the past two days, the cards that have been moving the most have been your higher rated and just hyped cards, right? Alex Morgan on Tuesday went from 73K down to 52, bounced back up to about 60, and then went from 60K all the way down to 42, bounced back up to 50. She was actually like 52K before going back down to 45, and now she's back up to 50. So, guys, there are some of these cards that are moving around each and every day that if you notice who is moving the most right now, come this weekend when a lot of people are going to be buying cards for teams because they have more coins the full game is out and it's really like okay now it's time to go those are the cards that you'll want to be interested in the most cancelo 43k 43k for cancelo i mean he's out of packs right now with his inform being in packs um yeah i sold him here at 53k yesterday overnight he went down to 44 he went back up Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong day. I sold him right here at 53K. He went down to 44, and that's kind of where he's been. 43K for me for that card. It's out of packs. Barcelona links. He could be 60K next week or something around those lines. So I don't hate that one, especially because it is out of packs, right? And that feels a little bit safer to me at the moment. I don't think I'm really going to trade with, guys. Just really quick to check this out for you. I don't know if I'm going to invest in any of the mad ready cards. I don't say, I'm not saying I dislike the investment. I think that Enzo could definitely go up. Chiesa could definitely go up. Even Sam Kerr, all these cards could honestly go up in price, but I think they would drop in price more on Friday, potentially with some panic. Friday is going to be a mad day. We'll talk about it more in the video tomorrow. I really think there's going to be opportunities to buy on Friday either before the content drop or during and maybe even the first hour after and then after that you're going to see prices just take off and really start to rise as a lot of people are getting coins and building teams and just playing this game fully released so that's kind of the video for today guys again i mentioned it not a really big content day in my opinion that's expected marquee matchups would be the biggest thing that i would expect today and maybe i play the month sbc um i know we've been mentioned the past couple days but i feel like that's the only other real piece of content they could maybe be dropping today and uh yeah make sure that you're grinding the rivals games foot champs i guess you don't have to stress about too much i don't know where my objective is that i have to claim it says i have one more objective to claim i don't know where it is but i'm almost level 14 i want to get to level 15 i think a lot of you guys may be getting to level 15 today if you haven't already because of the xp that has been released recently i'm going to try to get these flips sold get a little bit of coins back in and maybe make some coins today on thursday we'll be trading on stream today if you want to drop in in there the link will be down below in the description but if you enjoyed today's video drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been native account see you guys in the video soon peace out